Hi, I'm Jeff Daking, and we're here at AES 2019 in New York City, the Javits Center. And this year we're showing the new console, which we call the Mark II. And I'm going to let Skip Burroughs do the demonstration of this because he's our, I'm not really sure what he is, but uh, he's here to demonstrate it. Skipper, could you step in here, please? All right. Thank you, Mr. Daking. Well, welcome to AES 2019. And uh, for those of you that can't be here, uh, I'm going to try to explain our new MK2 console to you to get you really excited about an amazing product we've been working on for a number of years, and it's really refined and dialed in and sounds amazing. So uh, I want to tell you a little bit. Now, this is a 16-channel console, um, obviously more convenient for traveling. Uh, a 32-channel is uh, one of our more popular configurations. But uh, tell you a little bit about the design. The MK2 is one of the few consoles that is 100% Class A from the start, very first input to the very output, including the control room speakers. So it has unmeasurable crossover distortion. That really makes a difference in a tracking and a multi-track mixing environment. No other console that I know of is fully Class A from the very top to the very end, which is uh, an amazing difference in sound quality. Uh, the channel topography of the console features a uh, Class A mic pre that's transformer coupled. It has a compressor limiter on every single channel. It has a uh, high pass filter for taking out the uh, low end rumble that uh, the UPS trucks tend to make in your studio. It has a fully inductive four band EQ. The high and the low of it are Baxendale circuits and the mid range are inductor based. And you also have a uh, low pass filter in the circuit as well. So you can do all types of creative EQing. The frequencies are all selectable and have different taps on the inductor. So it's not a cheap way to do it and sounds amazing. We also have uh, routing in the console because it is an inline console. So you can have a mic coming into the console as well as the output of say your DAW or a tape machine coming back to the fader in the same strip. So it's all designed kind of old school in that methodology. Um, the center section of our console has control room outputs, it has studio outputs, and it has Q outputs that have all selectable sources. They can be summed together for convenience and it's incredibly full featured. In addition to that, we also have the ability to select what the meters are reading. So we can read the line input, the mic input, the buses and things like that. Or you can just, uh, we have a button here that just kills the meters if you don't want to look at meters and just mix purely with your ears, which some people like to do today. Um, the console also comes standard with a patch bay. The old forgotten patch bay. So, so many individuals and manufacturers these days kind of leave it up to the user. We think it is an integral part of the console, so we include a patch bay as standard and all the wiring internally comes standard when you purchase the console. So I don't think any other manufacturer or any other company right now is offering something at this price point with these types of feature sets. And it is a joy to work on and uh, we build them custom and they're hand done and having tremendous amount of care and love into them. So if you happen to be at the show, we'd love to see you come down to booth 225. And if you have any questions, you can go to daking.com. And we have an online brochure that specifies everything that I just went over, plus a lot more. Kind of a, you know, if you're into the, if you are a true gear slut, it'll be great to, uh, to go over that and give us a call if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you hopefully here at the show.